going on guys making this video here today to show the finished product on this uh, small it's a 5x10 welding trailer that I built not too long ago I posted up a slideshow of this build and it was mainly just pictures I didn't have any actual footage of the build so I'm just gonna make this video of the finished product kind of highlight its features but if you see that video, you'll know that this trailer started out pretty much as a skeleton and two wheels. It had a fold down gate on the back. So I'm assuming, you know, somebody made it at some point for, you know, a golf cart or some kind of small utility trailer like that. But anyway, we got this trailer. We laid it out. We uh, The flooring on it is six inch purling. And uh, that's all the way through. And then up front, we went ahead and replaced the tongue. It's got a small bulldog jack on it. I'm sorry, we replaced the jack. Then uh, up here we welded a plate so we can mount this air hose reel. It's worked out pretty good. Of course, that air hose reel is connected to this Ingersoll air compressor. I put it up in the air with just some uh, angle iron, you know, that I could get flush with the outside. And then. Uh, that would be easier to start, you know, service it's up here and you're not having to fight this rail. So, and right here, I think this is where the original spare went. Then uh, up here towards the front, front passenger corner of this trailer, there's a small toolbox and in here we carry wrenches, um, air hose, I mean, uh, air chuck, screwdrivers, you know, just small, small hand tools like that closes up nice and then again on this one mounted it to that top rail and on the back side just threw some angle iron that way it'll mount flush on top and on the driver's side driver's side front corner we have this green toolbox it's a 32 inch in here there's an extra extension cord store all the welding rods um, clamps are down there usually a couple grinders in here some drills of course your welding gloves PPE that's what stores up here it's it's a nice and convenient toolbox not too big though where you just pile junk in there kind of stays organized um, and up here we put all the all your leads and extension cords just got a hundred foot of everything um, these I just built them out of two inch pipe as you can see right here, they're spaced 10 inches from each other. Now when you wind it up, you don't have to go around a whole lot. And then that plate, it's right there, six inches. And I just took a, I think I used a six inch grinding disc to make these radius, just traced it and cut them out. And then the plates on the back are solid all the way through. And I went ahead and welded it, caught these, uh, main angle irons that come up from the trailer did that on all of them and then this one that they're all tied to I boxed it in from over here to right here to kind of beef it up and then all of them you know I tried to catch an angle iron that went down strengthen them up but yeah you got your ground your stinger hundred of extension cord torch of course Right here in between where we got that toolbox mounted and the welder, it's just kind of cargo area. There's a gas tank right there and then, uh, you know, this bucket that collects junk. It's got the uh, regulators in there right now. That hose, is, I think we are using that to change the oil on these welders not too long ago. It's just there. Um, the welder that we have mounted to this trailer is a Hobart Champion Elite 225. It's a, it's been a very good welder. I don't, no problems with it, no complaints. Good generator power. But, you know, just got them ran right there, straight to the, where we wind them up. Right here is your uh, settling bottle, mounted vertical, of course, with some temporary permanent straps. <laughs> and you get some chains. But on this one, got a piece of this uh, square tubing went down try to get a as much of the mainframe as possible and then uh you know welded some angle iron to it blew some holes and there you go 
Right here, I got some big angle iron. Radius it out for the bottom of it. And then uh, here we mount, mounted our oxygen tank laying down. Again, I got some angle iron and a uh, blue hole in it for our temporary permanent ratchet straps. And then there's some angle iron right here laying down that run from pretty much the middle of the trailer to the passenger side all the way to the end over there. And I welded a stop on the back, you know, of course, to prevent the bottle from sliding right there. And then there's another angle iron on top radius to keep it, you know, up and down happy. And then um, right here, we carry this toolbox. This one usually has, you know, grinders, there's a striker, you know, your soapstone. Right now it's kind of empty. I think that you're using the grinders and all that on another job or another truck. But this this toolbox usually just gets thrown right there and stays right there. That's where it lives. Here on the back, we threw a uh, small table, you know, something, workbench. Mounted a vise. It's just a, I think it was like 60 bucks a tractor supply, a, a Laren. Right here. Still need to come back and cut these off. That way, you know, you can get some more use out of this. This was on here because, like I said, it used to have a little gate right here. Expanded metal that dropped down. And of course, you know, this is how you locked it. You need to cut those off. Went ahead and welded some small pieces of plate right here. You know, throw a piece of board. Kind of like a tailgate. Both sides. This table here on the back, it's a... Uh, Made out of a quarter quarter inch diamond plate for the top and you know the legs we got right there. I think that's three inch angle iron. Two foot. Two foot by about three and a half. Right here. Left didn't want to go all the way across, you know, that way in case you gotta carry something, you know, bigger than usual. You can throw it right here in this area and you know of course with the wooden tailgate, you know, and kinda not worry about it. And then right here, I radius this angle iron right here because I didn't know, you know, building this on the fly, didn't know if we would be able to lift this oxygen cylinder up and, you know, get it out of there. So I wanted to make sure that we would be able to slide it, worst case scenario. But as long as you move that box, a little toolbox, this oxygen bottle comes up, you know, relatively easy. On this right side, you know, there's a little stop I was talking about for the oxygen bottle, you know, prevent it from sliding this way. All right, so there you go, YouTube. I was just trying to, you know, put up better video, more in depth of this trailer build. Uh, couldn't really catch a whole lot of progress. I wasn't really recording videos when I built this trailer, but hopefully y'all get something out of that slideshow. You know, it's a real simple and effective trailer build. Not a whole lot of money went in this. Um, I ended up building this for my dad. He runs a construction company. He primarily uses this trailer for any, any kind of welding jobs he gets, which is like metal buildings or, you know, carports, things of that nature. Serve them well. Um, you know, really, we ended up getting all these tools and, you know, like the toolbox that diamond plate toolbox you see up there and the air compressor all this stuff was kind of laying around his shop kind of pieced it together slowly see what we could work with and then you know voila the trailer came to life not a whole lot invested in it um you know a lot of the like the six inch purling the flooring just leftover material this plate is just laying around um but uh if i were to do this again the only thing i'd really change on it would be the spacing on all of these i would space these three out a little bit more that way when you're winding it up it's a little bit more comfortable i do so by moving this uh extension cord in front of this toolbox right here in this area and laying it down this way and you know wrap it up that way and doing so you know you'd be able to get more spacing right here if you're thinking of doing something similar i'd recommend more spacing right here these are sitting at six inches and you know just go a little more than that if you're doing something like that but other than that everything's worked out um he's happy with it so i'm happy with it thank you for watching